I'm the first one in the younger group who's getting tested. Erin Powell is only 25 years old, but a health concern hangs over her. She's at risk for an inherited form of breast cancer. We have a long history of breast cancer in my family. Um, my mother was diagnosed when I was six years old, and she was recently, about two years ago, diagnosed for a second time. Um, I also have an aunt who passed away from breast cancer. Yes, and I know that you had conversations with your family members and with your significant other. Erin turned to Kaylee Chatham, one of the genetic counselors at the Baptist Breast Center. She uses family history, personal medical records, and genetic testing to help patients determine their own risk of developing the disease. Sometimes a woman will be concerned because her mother was diagnosed with breast cancer young, and she's wondering what her risk now is of developing breast cancer, or a woman is concerned because she herself has a history of breast cancer and is wondering how that will affect her children, her siblings, her nieces. Kaylee is trained to take the information from her patients and come up with a statistical analysis. Family trees are constructed and using some very sophisticated software, um, mathematical probabilities uh, can be provided to the patients of the chances that they may harbor um, a, a genetic mutation, the chances, the lifetime risk of getting a specific cancer. We can look for that particular gene change. A saliva test that's sent away to a lab helps in the process of predicting risk. And whenever you're ready. In Erin's case, her chance of developing breast cancer at some point in her life, 87%. She doesn't like those odds. And I'm lucky that I know now that I have it so I can do something about it. Armed with scientific information, Erin's decision wasn't as agonizing as you might think. She plans on having both of her breasts removed in a preventive surgery at North Central Baptist Hospital. It was kind of like a no brainer for me, you know, because I don't, I want a future. And if this, if, if this is what has to happen for me to have a future, then that's fine. Um, I'm willing to, you know, give that up. And we'll also do something called a CA125 level. Kaylee knows a lot about genetics, yes, but as a high-risk patient herself, she knows a lot about the feelings that go along with knowing you might fall victim to a deadly disease. Her mother's history of early breast cancer has put her at risk. For me personally, being a high-risk patient, it really does give me the passion to reach out to my patients and be advocates for them. Here we go. And it's also important to me that every woman understands that she has options. Turn just your face towards me. Those options may include earlier, more aggressive screening with technology like 3D mammograms at the Baptist Breast Center. Or doctors may suggest chemo prevention with a drug called tamoxifen. And doctors say information is power and genetic counseling can be life-saving. It's not for everybody, but we need to offer that service because if we can prevent the development or identify what may be passed on in certain families, we can tremendously impact lives. Because the ultimate goal is not to treat breast cancer, it's to prevent it.